What is ataxia telangiectasia? Ataxia refers to uncontrolled and uncoordinated movement. Whereas telangiectasias which are most commonly known as spider veins, are dilated or broken blood vessels near the surface of the skin or mucous membranes. Ataxia telangiectasia also known as Lewy Barr syndrome is a very rare childhood genetic disorder, affecting brain and other body parts. It is characterized by a clinical triad of symptoms, namely, progressive immunodeficiency, cerebellar ataxia, and ocular cutaneous telangiectasia. Let me first familiarize you with these terms. Cerebellar ataxia is a form of ataxia that occurs due to a damage to the cerebellum. It usually presents with symptoms of an inability to coordinate balance, gait, extremity, and eye movements. Whereas, ocular cutaneous telangiectasia is the spider-like appearance of dilated blood vessels in eyes and skin. Ataxia telangiectasia syndrome is heterogeneous group of hereditary disorders, transmitted as autosomal recessive defects, all of which have chromosomal instability in common. Breakage and translocation of chromosomes especially at chromosome 14, leads to defects in the gene loci for TCR that is T-cell receptor and immunoglobulins. Since, DNA repair is also greatly impaired. The patients are extremely sensitive to ionizing radiation, hence, Radiographic examination should not be performed in these patients unless the benefits clearly overweigh the risks. Apart from the typical clinical symptoms, the disorder is also characterized by elevated alpha fetoprotein levels and greatly reduced levels of immunoglobulin A and immunoglobulin E. This progressive immunodeficiency leads to severe bouts of sinusitis and lungs infection, so-called sinopulmonary syndrome. If we talk about the treatment of this syndrome, it targets usually to eliminate the symptoms. So, that was all for today. For more videos, stay tuned to scardia.com.